Hi everyone, this is Anthony Reese from Chef. And today we're gonna to take a look at using Chef InSpec within your container pipeline. So let's take a quick look at my Azure DevOps pipeline. Essentially, the pipeline is made up of a number of steps. Now, of course, you could use uh, any of your favorite pipelines. Uh, first of all, we go and uh, we install uh, InSpec. So Chef InSpec is installed. Uh, on the uh, pipeline runner. Uh, so this is actually done as part of an Azure DevOps task. Uh, once we have InSpec up and running, uh, we then build our container. And once the container is built, we're then able to execute our InSpec tests uh, against uh, our running container. And upon successful completion of the InSpec tests, we're then pushing to, in this particular case, the container registry is the Azure uh, container registry itself. The tests that we're running today, uh, this is a Postgres. This is an example of a Postgres container. Uh, and we're simply executing a set of Postgres uh, controls uh, that are being uh, executed against the container. Uh, of course, we could run controls for the Center for Internet Security. So if this is, this, is an, this is actually an Ubuntu container. So we could run the CIS profiles for uh, Ubuntu or CentOS or whatever it is that we're running uh, inside our container. Uh, we can also execute Postgres uh, tests against this. If we're running another type of database like Mongo or something like that, we could execute those uh, CIS uh, or DISA-STIG based tests themselves. Once the pipeline uh, is executed, so let's have a look at, look at the pipeline here. And the pipeline itself is, uh, is executed and our tests are executed uh, in line uh, as well. And you can see that this particular run uh, has, has failed. Uh, and the, uh, the failure was because the, uh, the tests that were executed uh, against this container uh, had a failure. And that failure, as you can see, all of the inspect uh, runs have come in here. And the failure that you can see here is that we had uh, a null password. So we had a null password uh, set uh, as part of the Postgres uh, database. And that of course has failed our, uh, our inspect tests. Uh, by failing the inspect tests themselves, we've also failed the, uh, the container pipeline that was run and that was executed. Now, what I sub subsequently did um, as well uh, is uh, I then went in and I've modified uh, the, the Postgres uh, construction of the, uh, the Docker file. So uh, I took a look at the Docker file and we've added a section here. So we've actually added a section and we've remediated in this particular case, we've fixed uh, our container, we've updated the Docker file and I've gone and I've rebuilt, uh, I've gone and I've rebuilt that particular pipeline and recreated that, uh, recreated that container. And here you can see now that the, uh, the build itself was successful. So let's take a quick look at how the pipeline ran. Uh, so first of all, we went and obviously checked out my code. Uh, we performed the installation of, uh, of InSpec on the, uh, on the, contain on the, uh, on the pipeline uh, runners themselves. We then went and built the container. Okay, so the container was, was built. And once the container had been finished, uh, being built and constructed, we then went and ran our inspect tests against it. And the inspect tests here, as you can see, uh, we had five tests that we ran and all of them were successful. Uh, that meant that we could then move on and we could push the, uh, the container image uh, to the Azure container registry, or in your particular case, the registry of your choice. Uh, the, the final part of the step, of course, when it ran the inspect tests, it also sent the information through into Chef Automate. And we can take a look at that. Chef Automate captures uh, all of the inspec runs, the compliance runs uh, in time series. So every time we run, uh, we get a new, ver a new uh, view into, uh, into the uh, compliance of your container or your node or your target in that particular case. And you can see now that we are now passing all of our tests and you can see also the tests that we ran for the, 
uh, to check to make sure that we don't have any null passwords, uh, which of course is a very bad practice, uh, is now passing and uh, we've been able to publish our container into the container registry. So a uh, pretty simple demonstration. I uh, hope it was interesting just to show you how you can use Inspect within your container pipeline and send all of your compliance uh, information through into Chef Automate. Of course, we have hundreds of profiles uh, that are available uh, out of uh, Chef Automate. Uh, so Chef Automate ships natively with over 400 uh, profiles for CIS. All of the major operating systems are covered. And we also cover many, many uh, applications like Postgres uh, or SQL Server, um, many other databases. Uh, we also cover things like IIS uh, and also uh, Apache Tomcat, for example, uh, for, uh, for your web servers. I uh, hope this was helpful. Uh, if you've got any questions, as always, reach out to me. Uh, thanks for your time today.